Thanks to an infectious spirit and a very special dog, a young girl with a rare disease is giving hope to others with disabilities. Thank you. Twelve-year-old Shea McGalley was born with spinal muscular atrophy, but it doesn't stop her from boarding a bus and going to school like any other seventh grader. Her companion dog, Mercer, is at her side, helping her to be independent and see the possibilities beyond her physical limitations. Shea's written a book series about her dog's adventures, and the first is called Marvelous Mercer. Its proceeds and those from a toy Mercer available at FAO Schwartz will go to finding a cure for the disease and training assistance dogs. Shea McGalley Mercer and her mom Megan McGalley are all here with us this morning. Good morning to you and congratulations Thank on the you very book. Much. That is so cool. How did you come up with the idea, Shay, to write a series of books about what Mercer does when you go to bed at night? It's really about the nighttime adventures. Yes. Well, to tell you the truth, I never really thought it'd turn into anything. I just was kind of having fun just writing. And uh, little, did I, did, little did I know, mom picked it up. Yeah, Mom, so, you, you found yeah, the, the yeah. writings looking through the closet, was I it? I did. I was cleaning her room, and I found her diary, and I read it. <laughs> and uh, when I read the stories, I knew after the second one, these were all things that I didn't think Shay was thinking about, but I realized that she was, doing things, ice skating, sledding, things that she would really never be able to achieve on her own, but doing it through Mercer. So, the, like, in the first book, it, it's Mercer that goes out after you go to bed and puts on skates with his friends Correct. and goes skating and ends up with marshmallows and hot cocoa all over him and Correct. comes back home. So was that sort of the idea, that you, you wanted to live another part of life through your dog? Yeah, definitely, because that's why he has two sets of legs. Okay, exactly. so double, exactly, one yes. for you and one for him, exactly mm -hmm. right. You know, Megan, I had never heard of spinal muscular atrophy to before. Yeah. When was Shay diagnosed, and what did doctors tell you about the disease? Well, Shay was diagnosed at 18 months, and she was actually misdiagnosed at first, and we were told to take her home and love her because we had three months with her. So um, she was then re-diagnosed at Johns Hopkins, and we felt like we had won the lottery when she's diagnosed with spinal muscular atrophy type 2. So um, her life expectancy is far greater than we had anticipated. So we had felt like we had won the lottery. So you know, my goal as a mother is just to make every day as special as it possibly could. And, and this is a great way because it takes the focus off of Shay. There's a lot of focus always on Shay. She's like a magnet Thank in you. the grocery <laughs> store. So this, is a, this takes the focus a little bit off of her. It also puts the focus on the disease because I think one of the things that you found about it is that because so, pe so few people know about it and it is so rare, it doesn't get not only the attention but the funding it that it needs. Yeah, it doesn't. And this is kind of an, an out-of-the-box way to subsidize that funding because the problem is there, you know, if it costs $5 million to research the disease and only 300 kids have it, they're never going to make their money back. It's a business decision. So. Yeah, it's a way to go out of the box. It's a mother's way of going out of the box, of doing every, everything she can do to just get as much money, you know, in funding as possible. Tell me a little bit, Shay, about Mercer. How did, how did he come into your life? <laughs> well, we first heard about Canine Companions because we felt it, it, it would be a great idea to have a companion with me. So we went on a waiting list, and when we were finally chosen, we went to the CCI training camp, which was very hard, harder than we thought. Uh, two weeks, we trained with Mercer so uh, we could build together, you know, bond, so he knows who he's responding to. Did you know right away, this is the one, this is for me, this dog? Oh, exactly. Yeah, yeah definitely. They, they do such a great job. I really have to compliment them. And, and what does Mercer do for you on a daily basis? Well, Mercer can do anything that I need to be done. He can pick things up, open up doors, turn on lights, whatever needs to be done. But, the, but in all truth, I have my mom, I have my brother, I have my sister, my dad. They can do all that for me, but the best thing about Mercer is just having a best friend around. And how has he changed Shay's life, do you think? Oh, uh, you know, we really were very, very unsure as to whether this was going to add to her life. But this has made her, I mean, she's very strong-willed anyway, but this has made her go out and just, there's nothing she can't do. I mean, even coming this morning, she knew Mercer would be with her, and she wasn't as nervous as she would have been. So, yeah, it's it's really changed her life. And he's a very mellow guy, I <laughs> must say. This is as excited as he gets. Thank you. This well, is it. Well, probably because he's always at, out at night going on these adventures, so he's tired during yes, the morning. Yes, he's probably dead tired. <laughs> it's such a pleasure to meet you, Shay. Thank and you, you very much. Megan. Thank you. Really it's a pleasure to be here. And Mercer, always a pleasure to have you yes. around, too. <laughs> and for more information on Marvelous Mercer, Spinal Muscular Atrophy, or Canine Companions for Independence, go to our website website todayshow.com. Still ahead, fall foliage. We'll be back after your local news.